Well, hi guys and girls, Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room. Little job to die. Um, I've been asked the question how to set up a cylinder. This is a really nice casting with a nice core. I think this is probably lost wax, something like that. Um, or shell cast. It's a really nice job. But not all castings are equal. And some castings have an irregular hole. So, how do we set that up on centre to bear it, bore it? As with the, the least effort and the least messing around. And the, the quickest way to accomplish it. And to get reasonably accurate results. It's really not all that difficult. The best way is to make a plug out of a piece of wood. Um, it doesn't matter much what it is. I'm going to use this and just plug this. Uh, basically by, by means of putting this in the lathe and turning it down till that's a pretty good tight fit on there and chopping it off with a hacksaw afterwards. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is pretty rough. It doesn't have to be real clever. Nice tight fit in there. Haven't managed to break the casting. Unlikely to happen. Now chop this off with a hacksaw and give him a bit of a file up. Now we need to mark him. Now, best, best tool for this is a jetty leg caliper. It looks like this. Pretty basic. Right. You want to set this to about the middle. And make sure it's all nice and tight. And scribe around in a circle that way. Around in a circle that way. Around in a circle that way. Around in a circle around here. And you've got a centre point. If this pins in tight enough, when you tap this with the center punch, it shouldn't move too much. And what we've got there, if we're really careful, is a center that's somewhere near in the center of the casting. That's easy. Quick, easy job. Now all we need to do is set this up on centre, drill this plug out and bore it, face the front and mark the PCD if you want to, if you're marking these out by hand that's not a bad idea. Uh, if you've got a milling machine you're going to set it up on a, on a plug and, and bolt it down in a, in a face plate or if you're going to set it up in a forge or on a rotary table uh, probably not so important you've got this side and the bore square and nice then you can turn it round in the forge or chuck up against this jaw and this jaw or up against the back of the chuck is probably better even so this is nice and solid and face the other side to length and you've done the three main parts of the, the casting. So let's see how you're going to set this up. So the easy way to set this up is just with another centre between centres. You see how far out that is. But if we put a DTI on there and get that to run true with our, our face of our casting pretty nice. Um, put a little square on here if you like and get that somewhere near. Take your time with it. Uh, set that up. It won't take a lot. Uh, my personal way to do that now is with this 3D printed test indicator holder. You can just sit that on there. And the right slot so it's nice and square. Set that up against there. And we can get that fairly right. 
and we've got this side faced and it, the cylinder board then there's a couple of ways we can we can machine the other side but the best way is just to sit this up flat against the lathe or on the on the face plate or even on the miller machine table and mill it off nice and square that's that's not a big deal but that's where you need to be with that and it won't take a minute when you've got this set out just drill the plug out bore him out and run a reamer through it whatever you're going to do and as Tom Lipton says Bob's your uncle so anyway thanks for watching guys and girls thanks for your patience with this there might be a few of these little jobs um, just how to steam engine jobs that no one really ever shows you um, in the next little while so be patient with them and they only take a few minutes to film and it's the easiest way to, to explain something to someone or how to do something so hopefully this is helpful thanks for watching be kind to each other more soon